What's up, geeks? Come on, don't be a view thief. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so I can keep the channel growing and keep these reviews coming. Of course he's rich. He's a baron. What's up, geeks? We're here at Baron Zemo from the Captain America Sam Wilson Wing Bath Wave. Oh, did I get it? <laughs> All right, so let's check him out. He's got some accessories. That's a rarity in this line. And he has a second head sculpt. I'm super excited. Let's check out the box. Baron Zemo, the Sokovian Special Forces officer who targeted the Avengers, has been rotting in a German prison, but recent events will reignite him with a ferocity. And there's Zemo in it. Wait, what happened? Watch the show. Alright, he's ready for some fisticuffs. Got some golden eye action going on here. And we all know what this is. If you don't, Watch the movies. The other wing. Oh boy, he is on fire. Look at that. Tight work. All right, let's take a second to bask in his glory. Keith Lee. All right, they did a good job here. The face likeness is way above the pay grade. Now, I may have to pick up a second one of him because that's the kind of face that you want on your shelf. But you also want the mast head on your shelf. So what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? You gotta get both of them. All right, so trench coat's looking good. He's got his fancy barren fur up here. Paint's an easy job. You got all one color. Going down trench coat, it's like a gray. And then his shirt is purple. The neck, the purple seems to be off a little bit but it's hardly noticeable because it's behind his chin. Then you got his pants to navy blue. It's a nice solid silver belt buckle. And the belt has some square shapes that protrude there. So it's kind of nice, not just a flat belt. His feet are a little bit wonky. I had to mess with them to get him to stand up, but it's doable. Let's get a close up on that face. That is a really good job. Hasbro kind of knocked it out of the park with this one. That being said, it's hood time. And it bothers me that that hood is not the same color as his shirt. I don't think it was off like that in the show, but it could have been. Even if it was, I think they should have taken artistic license here and kind of fixed it. Now what's odd, I didn't think it was gonna be so, but I like him better without the hood just because of the color mismatch. It's not as striking as I thought it was gonna be. And it looks a little bit small also. There you go to the side, other side. It's not bad. Let's get into the business. Yes, thank you. I hate when we can't tilt. Something about a head tilt that just allows you to add to the emotion of the character. Why am I doing it over and over again? Looking down. Then up. And 360. I love that tilt. I am not getting any range on these shoulders. I tried them from different angles, but that's the best I can get. I don't know, maybe if I warm them up. Look, as I'm doing it, you can see the bicep joint is starting to stretch out. Let's see, it's a little white in there because I just bent it. So maybe it's not meant to, oh yeah, look. His sleeve is overlapping his shirt. So it's 
Well, at least on mine, it's not meant to go in there. See that ridge? Okay. Man, I felt guilty because well, somebody in the comments the other day said that I was being too gentle and afraid to stretch my toys out, but look at that. I was about to snap his arm off. That's why I don't push. Because I'm not trying to buy the figure twice. So sucky arm range, at least on mine. It's as high as it gets, nowhere near the shoulders. Full 360. 360 at the bicep, that I almost broke. And 360 at the wrist. And both these hands have horizontal hinges with this sleeve coming out so far. You're not gonna get any range there. And same on this one. Like you can see it trying to lean down, but it's gonna get caught up on the sleeve. Now these are his pistol gripping hands, or at least this one is. And this is his, you did it hand. If this is the horizontal hinges, can we get any movement there? Uh, a little bit, nobody's kissing the ring. All you're doing is punch straight ahead, you can't get up. Yeah, sleeve stops everything. Double jointed elbows, he can flex his muscle. He can also dab. And there's your range or lack thereof of the arms. What about those abs? Crunch, crunch. Now it's all ab, no waist or legs. Trench coat hinders the backwards motion. You can see there, it's moving, but really can't get him to stay back. There you go, I can lean a little bit, but coat keeps pushing it back up. Yeah. 360 at the waist. Serious 90 degree bend over. Woohoo, you can see up the tunnel. Of course he can, can, can. We've all seen the dance video. Split, but you gotta kind of twist him forward so the trench coat doesn't get in the way. Banana split if you pull his legs forward because the trench coat does get in the way. A little back action so you can get that walk in motion. Double jointed knee. Is, but of course the trench coat's gonna give us some problems there. Hey. Hey. Yeah, he can get close to his butt. 360 at the thigh, nothing at the calf, 360 at the foot, get rock in, rock out. No moonwalk for you. The pants and the shoe meet too quickly, but those are some nice shoes. All right, geeks, so what do you think? I like him. I like both head sculpts. Um, I like the unmasked version better, surprisingly, but I'm okay with the masked one also. Make sure to stay until the end so you can see all the pictures with the different accessories. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is this a worthy figure? Does he look enough like his Disney Plus counterpart or is it off to you? I think it's spot on. Agree or disagree, let me know in the comments. Make sure to hit that like button on your way out. The thumbs up always helps. Go ahead and subscribe and turn notifications if you haven't already done that. It really helps the channel grow. Till next time, Baron out.